And we have our first name storm of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. That happened this morning. Tropical storm Andrea has formed in the North Atlantic, which is actually a pretty rare spot for June. But the system may not last long with conditions turning hostile really fast. Joining us now to break it all down is North Carolina State University professor Anand Iyer. Professor, how rare is it for a storm like Andrea to form in this location this early in the season? And we were looking at the sea surface temperatures, kind of where Andrea is at, and it's into the 70s. And typically we would expect an 80 degree mark to watch a tropical storm get its bearings. Well, thank, uh, great question there, and thanks for having me. Um, so yes, it is unusual to get tropical cyclone formation um, when the temperatures are low, at least at the ocean level. But it turns out that um, uh, you can actually get storms even when the temperatures below 80 degrees, as long as you have what we call upper atmospheric support. Maybe temperatures aloft are much cooler. So it's uh, think of a hurricane as a heat engine, like a, and it, it requires two things: warm oceans. And really cold upper troposphere. So if the ocean's not as warm, but the troposphere, upper troposphere is colder than usual, you could still get a hurricane or at least a tropical storm forming. Um, and that's what's happening right now. As far as how rare it is, um, you know, it is somewhat unusual that this is forming pretty north, uh, 36 degrees north. Uh, but it's not entirely unusual for storms to form at this time of the year. Early season tropical storms tend to form a little bit in the Gulf of Mexico along the U.S. eastern seaboard, primarily uh, with uh, stalled fronts that make their way from, from the land into the ocean. So uh, unusual that it is a little bit further north than usual, but um, uh, not entirely unheard of. When it comes to the first name storm of the year, typically the expectation is around June 20th. So we're four days behind average. To me, that's really right when we would expect to see a name storm, maybe not in the area that it formed, but time frame wise. Do you think that this maybe tells us anything about what to expect this season? Um, although, you know, sometimes it can be a little unpredictable with some of the micro factors that can influence tropical systems later down the line once we get into peak hurricane season. Yeah, you're right. The fact that it formed just a few days after what we call climatological start date is not unusual. And so uh, I'm not reading too much into what's going to happen. Uh, we do know uh, that most um, long range forecasts for the seasonal activity um, are calling for about average to slightly above average, which is around 17, uh, 15 to 17 storms. So it's, it's really um, this is a difficult uh, forecasting problem in terms of when exactly a particular storm will form. Although we, we do have reasonably good handle on sort of the seasonal activity. So I'm pretty confident it's still going to be uh, uh, average to above average. Um, but exactly the timing of each storm is extremely difficult to predict um, because of the chaotic nature of weather itself. Right. Uh, uh, one thing, too, is, OK, everyone's thinking, all right, we've got the A name storm check. Now they're set, their eyes are set on when does the B name storm come? And climatologically mm -hmm. speaking, that's usually in mid-July. Does anything stick out to you maybe in the long term trends that would leave us? OK, maybe B could be a little bit ahead of schedule, could be behind schedule or right mm -hmm. on par, similar to Andrea. Yeah, another great question. I mean, looking at the um these are the usual suspects, the usual forecast models. Uh, I'm not seeing anything uh, jump um, right at me immediately. Um, maybe um, the first uh, week of July, um, there may be some activity, but at least the, um, the next couple of weeks, um, th there isn't much going on, it looks like. And so, uh, again, it's not unusual to have these lulls between storms. Uh, as your graphics, as you showed earlier, you know, we really have a ramp up in August and September. So, uh, uh, you could have a week or two of gap, um, but um, nothing that the models are spinning up anytime soon, uh, at least uh, from my perspective. Yeah, moral of the story here is the Eastern Pacific. They've been showing off. So I guess, Andrea, at least mm -hmm. in my perspective, is the Atlantic's way of saying, hey, hurricane season's still here. Uh, continue to kind of keep those preps ready, especially when we get into peak hurricane season in the late summer, early fall. North Carolina State University professor uh, Anand Iyer, thanks so much for sharing your expertise with us here. Thank you for having me.